Hello everybody, today I've got a super drug haul for you. It's just a little one and I've had some of the stuff quite a while but I've taken it all out of the bag so it's less rustly. First things first is the Batiste Floral Dry Shampoo. I picked this up because I have actually ran out of my collection of Batiste so I've actually gone through them all which is very rare for me because I don't normally use dry shampoo. I think it was about two pounds but the thing about Batiste is you don't have to put it over all your hair, you can put it in the roots as well to make it have more volume. So when I saw this one, I thought I'll try it, and actually the scent of this one, I have already used this, is a lot more, no, a lot less potent or powerful than the other ones, because some of them, it's quite hard to breathe around them. So I picked up this one, and to be honest, I might only get that one from now on, but it's always good to have a little Batiste dry shampoo lying around. I got that. The next thing is just some makeup top up. I've got the Ivory Pressed Powder from Collection. This is the shade I get, it's quite pale and now I've changed the colour of my hair, I think I'm a bit too pale, but um, so I may have to get a tanned-ish one, but yeah, that's what I got. This is the pressed powder that I use all the time, my skin's not great at the moment and I'm fully aware of that, so that's why I bought some concealer. That's my pressed powder, there's not much more to say about that, but recommend it, I think it's £2 and it does the job and you only need to retouch it, probably one extra time during the day so that's good this next thing is also makeup related it is by i Heart revolution and it's the cookies and cream fixing spray i used to get the one that didn't have a scent on it until i tried this one i wanted to try it because i thought cookies and cream who doesn't want to smell like cookies and cream i can't really get the cream scent from it i think it's more like vanilla maybe but you can definitely smell the cookie dough it smells delicious and my friend borrowed it the other night as body spray just because it smells so cute highly recommend that the next thing i picked up is this t-zone glitter mask i didn't actually need that but i thought you know what because of the glitter in that worth a try so i haven't done that i was going to do that in a video actually but I'll see. If my skin clears up, I might do that. But I just thought it looked interesting because it looks really, really rubbery. <laughs> so you can see the woman pulling it off her face there. And it just said for all skin types. And it says and, and it says made with cosmetic bio glitter. And it's got witch hazel in, which helps refine pores for a flawless complexion. So I need that at the minute because my skin's not great. But yeah i picked that up because i was attracted to the glitter next thing makeup wise is this makeup revolution well it's called just revolution now i think this little concealer so it's in the shade c1 and i do have the foundation to go with it so i did actually buy that but that's in my bag um but yeah these i actually use a lot and i can use it as primer for eyeshadow as well i also find that if you're going out with a small handbag instead of taking the foundation you could just take this with you then you can just do little touch-ups throughout the day if you need to but it is a really good concealer and i think it was only four pounds and it does last a very long time yeah highly recommend that if you are looking for a new foundation or concealer have a look at the revolution range because i truly think that this is probably one of the best foundations and concealers out there i've seen a lot of reviews on it and a lot of my friends now use this definitely give it a go the next couple of things are actually eyeshadow palettes that i have had so long i forgot to get them out of the box and they got buried over there but they're from superdrug all the same they are i heart revolution donuts and they're squishy this is the raspberry icing one i'm just going to take it out of the box i have had a little play with them just because they were squishy and i couldn't help myself it just comes in a little packet like that and then it's got a squishy donut on the top it does say it's scented but chemicals maybe but not donut on the back it does have the shade names uh, or shade numbers should i say uh which is quite helpful and then it's got a little filmy on and it has a mirror as well which you probably don't want to see in the background because there's a winnie the pooh over there there he is look can you see him right that's enough of that this is a pink eyeshadow palette it's just got warm tones in there and i thought to contrast that i'd get the blue one i don't really wear much eyeshadow only really when i'm going out to parties or something but i thought i really want to have a go at doing just little playing around videos with eyeshadow because i think it's fun this is the blue one this one's called blueberry crush and it's got all the colors on the back there is a cream shade in here which i thought would be good for both of these palettes but there's also a lot of cool tones in here if you just have a look at that one as you can see it is very pretty i do think i want to have a go with that and see if i can make some videos or just have a testing video because i'm not going to be good at doing eyeshadow because i'm not i'm not a pro and i just haven't really done it so i think 
if I'm going to do anything, they'll just be like play around videos and I think that's okay because it's YouTube, you can just have a bit of fun with it. Um, yeah, I thought these two were good contrasts of each other so I got those and I think they were £5 each when I bought them but they may have gone down now. Another one that's been out quite a while but when I saw it, I thought this is the one that I want. You know, if you could have any palette and just not have any more, this was the one. So it's the I Heart Revolution Ocean Treasure one and it's shaped like a shell. Love it. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I actually have Ariel tattooed on my hand. I love things sea related and this was just calling my name. This is the I Heart Revolution Ocean's Treasure palette. It looks a bit like a Polly Pocket. I was thinking this when I saw it on the website. It reminds me of a Polly Pocket. This doesn't have a mirror in it, but it has a lot of shades. How many shades does it have? doesn't say I'll just count oh 21 21 Ooh. 21 shades in this palette they're shaped like a moon like a crescent moon so there's not much in them I'd say but I guess you're not going to use it all the time are you there are cool tones mostly in this but there are a couple of pinks and creams in there and golds as well just thought there's a nice variety of colours in there. There's also mattes and shimmers, so it's a good collection to have, really. And they've all got little sea names, like this one called Freshwater, Coast, Sand, Seagrass, Jellyfish, Sea Anemone, Ocean, and Shallows, and Submarine, and Driftwood, and Siren. I can't stop. There's just so many, and they're really cute. I like that. And also, if you don't use eyeshadow a lot, and it sits on the side, at least it's going to be looking pretty. But yeah, I love that one. A couple of those things are in my mouth. Um, I bought on, they're still in my mouth. I bought online on the Superdrug website at the time. If you bought so many eyeshadow palettes or something, I think I got the shell and the donuts in this. Um, they sent you a free box. So it is a revolution, you are the revolution box. And it was completely free. It's got these things in and I'm just going to unbox it really. It's been sat here for ages. I did notice that the highlighter that's in there is the one that I always used to use. The first one is a Retro Lux metallic lip kit it looks a bit dark i don't know if that would suit me but the packaging is very nice and like i said this was free so it's pretty good and it contains a lip contour kit with one lip liner and one lip with lipstick oh wow that was literally gold that looks gold to me right this is a lip liner and it is brown, as you can see there. I will have a go with that. This is the, does it say what it is? Probably said on the box, dear. It is just, oh, Sovereign. It's called Sovereign, that's the shade. And it's just, it's a metallic brown is what I want to say. I'll do a little swatch. Oh, wow, that's, that looks gold to me. Goldy, browny, bronzy. There you go. Can you see that? I still don't know if that's my shade. I might give that to my sister because she likes the darker shades, but still you've got a whole lip contour kit which i didn't know was a thing free that's very lovely and it's a good way to try things out if you don't know just to get them for free next thing in this box is the highlighter i was talking about i basically stick around highlighters that i know um at the minute i'm using the i heart revolution diamond as a girl's best friend or girl's best friend one and i absolutely love that but before i found that one i used this revolution strobe highlighter in the shade Moon Glow Light. So it is a pink highlighter. I think the I Heart Revolution highlighters have more of a sort of glitter metallic undertone, but then these ones seem, I want to say, more grown up, but I'm a fan of the glitter in the uh, metallic ones. I will put that in my drawer as a backup when the girl's best friend one runs out, I will use this. And also I find that if you carry your favorite highlighter around, you could smash it, so I may just put this in my handbag just in case if I need one on the day out. The day out, a day out. What have we got left? We've got two things left in this box. There is a palette and a lipstick. So I'm gonna get the lipstick out first. Oh, you would have plastic all over you, wouldn't you? You can just see there, it's got like a copper packaging on it and it is again in a brown colour. So I'm not sure that it will suit me very much. It's called Chauffeur. Let's try get into you. Okay, that was a lot easier than your mate over there. Just a metallic bullet here and it pops off and then, yes, that's very brown. I'm not sure any of these colours will actually be used by myself. I will ask around friends and see if they want it. But it's a nice lipstick. I've heard about the Revolution lipsticks and I think they are pretty good. And yeah, if, if this was your colour, I'd be super happy right now. But if it was a pink or a red, I probably could have worked it. But I just think brown 
won't go with my whole flesh so we won't do that but i think if i had darker hair still it probably would look good but now i've gone blonde i'm struggling to do my face and things because i just feel like i look, look very washed out the next thing is a palette um, I have actually got this one already so I will give this one to my sister. It is a 12 eyeshadow palette and it is called Redemption. This is the basic sort of palette from Revolution. I think they're quite cheap, probably about £4. But it has a lot of the cream shades and then it goes into warmer shades down there. Basically, I think that there's a lot of shades in here that I would use, like the creams down here. And then there's a couple of the... I'll call them base shades over there or transition shades. You can use a lot of those for that. And I think probably this is a semi grown up palette compared to the other ones. Like me, Seashell. I don't think you'd catch a lot of business women using this, but they probably would use this one. Maybe I should keep this. But yeah, that is everything from the iHeart Revolution Super Drug Haul. I've literally just realised most of that was Revolution, wasn't it? Oops. Okay, apart from the T Zone and the Batiste. Everything was very much revolution, so that wasn't intentional. But Superdrug have a good shelf of them, so I will always look at them when I go in, and the website's really good, and they always have a lot of offers on the revolution products. Keep your eye out if you like them, because they have quite quirky eyeshadow palettes, which are very collectible, and I have a little mini collection going on over there. But if you'd like to see um, my collection of revolution palettes, that might be an idea, because I do have quite a few over there. Yeah, so that was just a little haul today. I thought you'd like to see it just before I go and put everything away where it needs to be and start using it I just thought I'd show you as it might be something you're interested in but anyway thank you for watching if you'd like to follow me on Instagram please do it's at Zoe Glitter that's Zoe with a Y and if you'd like to please subscribe it would mean a lot to me and I'm making a new video every week so please follow along and leave a comment below if you've got any ideas of what you want to see thank you for watching again and I'll see you soon bye